Hello everyone, this is Dark Eyser, and welcome to my YouTube video series on Space Engineers Tutorials. Well, Murphy's Law indicates that if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. So the day after I launch my new video series and I make my very first YouTube tutorial video on sensors in Space Engineers, the developers give us update 1.049, which promptly changes the sensors. So as promised in my sensor tutorial, I'm here to give you an update to give you an idea of how sensors have changed. Now I have a small drill ship in front of me. Let me go ahead and take control of that and demonstrate the change to sensors. The change is very small but very very important. Sensors have been modified so that now, as well as detecting characters, floating objects, large and small ships, and stations, sensors will now also detect asteroids, something that they didn't do when they were first released. And the developer video that they released with the, the sensor changes indicated that you can use the sensors now with the new setting to make completely autonomous drill ships that you can have the sensor set to detect an asteroid. The sensor can be tied into drills and thrusters on the drone so that as long as the asteroid is within range, the drills and the thrusters will operate and the drone will continue cutting. When the drone punches out the backside of the asteroid, which will often happen when you leave it alone for too long, then the sensor will, detop, will stop detecting the asteroid and the drills and the thrusters will shut down and then the drone will go into sort of a standby mode and wait for you to take control of it and fly it home and unload it. But something else about the new sensor setting for asteroids that I think is even more important, because I, I fly in survival mode most of the time, I'm not prone to making autonomous vehicles that fly around without me because I tend to break stuff. So uh, when I'm flying my drones in, in a first person sort of setting, the problem is of course you can't always see where you're going. So what I have done is I've placed a series of sensors on my drone and a series of lights. Let me go ahead and turn off my HUD to make this a little more visible. I've placed sensors on the left and right side of my drone as well as underneath the, the belly and in the back. I didn't put a sensor on top of the drone since the camera that I'm looking through, which is at the back of the drone looking forward, can see most of the top of the ship. The right hand sensor is connected to the right hand light, left hand sensor to the left hand light and so forth. The light that's flashing directly in front of the camera is for the belly sensor. So with the two lights that are currently flashing, I know that I'm too close to the wall on my right hand side and beneath me. So I can thrust accordingly to get away from the walls so I'm a lot less likely to damage my drill ship. As I said, it's a relatively small but very important change and let me give you an idea of what this looks like. We have our sensors in a group. And again, we have small and large ship stations, and now we can detect asteroids. Now, even though I have the slider set at one meter, I actually have it set to detect at one and a half meters, but as I demonstrated in my sensor tutorial, uh, the sliders are imperfect they're not uh, entirely accurate. So even though I have this set at a meter and a half, it's only going to show a meter on the control panel. Anything further away than a meter and a half, and the sensors are just going to be going off all the time since the tunnel is relatively small. So as I said, it's a small change to sensors, but it is an important one. So now our wonderful beloved sensors can now detect 
asteroids as well as detecting everything else. So if you want to do a simple collision avoidance system, if you love flying your, your drill ships personally, as I prefer to do, then you can set up an entire control panel in front of you with flashing lights to indicate when you're getting too close to a station or a ship or an asteroid tunnel that you've just dug and try to keep from damaging your ship any more than absolutely necessary. If you are one of those people that likes building autonomous vehicles, automating things, putting everything uh, putting everything to work and then going ahead and, and walking away and letting everything work on its own, then the change to sensors from this update is, is going to be just the most wonderful thing ever. As I mentioned before, if you have any other questions about sensors or any other demonstrations that you would like me to make, please go ahead and drop me a, a comment. If you enjoy the series, please go ahead, give us a like, and subscriptions are always welcome if you would like to see us uh, update the video further and give you some specific examples of how sensors could work in other circumstances again go ahead and drop something in the comments for us if we have any other changes in the future and I'm sure we will then I will update the video further thank you very much for joining me I hope to see you in the game this is Dark Kaiser signing out.